hard to describe the community that we've built here at HAI uh, if you haven't actually experienced it. The community reaches from obviously computer science and core AI scientists and engineers, all the way to humanists, music scholars, the law school, the business school, education, the medical school, earth sciences, international security. It is an incredibly broad community and it's an incredibly exciting place to work. I started the Junior Fellows Program because we want to include in our community some of the youngest, brightest minds thinking about artificial intelligence broadly construed in the world. And we are building that cohort in the Junior Fellows Program. The vision of the High Junior Fellowship is to provide an opportunity for some of the brightest researchers to be immersed and understand our vision for the next generation of AI-related research, which is human-centered. It focuses on the impact on humans of how AI can augment human capacity and how basic research is required really to further those kinds of aims. The High Junior Fellow Program is a, is a very elite program that allows young people starting their career to join this community, this very broad community of, of researchers that, that extend across the entire university, and join us for five years uh, at, with the, the full status of an assistant professor with uh, a, a significant amount of research support um, and the ability to teach students, but a very low require, teaching requirement. Uh, so it allows the individual to have a, in effect, five years of well-supported research time in probably the most, uh, the, the most active community around when it comes to AI research. So the nice thing about HIAS, is um, where it sits in the university ecosystem, is it's in between departments and institutes. So as a junior fellow, I'm quite free to travel from department to department and try to be a cross-pollination butterfly, sort of bring machine learning and artificial intelligence to problems in, say, political science, or then take questions about, say, subjective well-being or um, the measurement of strife in the population back to, say, human-computer interaction. Um, so the rule itself gives the fellows license to um, seek out different connections and also facilitate these connections across campus, and that's quite nice. There's a lot of conversation about interdisciplinary work, but to actually marry different worldviews and different perspectives takes a certain kind of commitment to enlarge thinking, a certain humbleness to what it is we're used to doing, our usual ways of, of working, and with our own work and with each other. Everybody comes with their own different perspective. Everybody comes with their own different kinds of experience and their expertise. But to actually work together to transform what we're, we're all doing together for a larger public good is very different. It has a very different character. It's a lot more challenging. It's also a lot more collegial. I think the kinds of inter individuals that are going to be drawn to the High Junior Fellowship are those that exhibit a natural intellectual curiosity, a desire to step beyond the four corners of their discipline, uh, and a commitment to, to research and uh, particularly collaborative research. So I think the unique potential of this junior fellow position at HAI um, is to give a home to people who work, whose work is irreducibly interdisciplinary and who are working between departments and who might um, be not a standard track, perhaps, in a department, but nevertheless do a lot of work that spans disciplines. So it's historically been difficult um, for scientists that span different domains to find a home in any one department in part because they're not filling a traditional role for a traditional funding line in a traditional department. And so if somebody has an interdisciplinary research portfolio, 
that is in the domain of AI or machine learning or um, in that domain, I think this role can be quite unique because it empowers the person to really do their work um, in the way that they think is best, as opposed to trying to fit it into traditional criteria of a sociology department or a human computer interaction department, publish wherever they want to publish, attend the conferences they think is right, make the connections they want to make, and build out the lines of research they want to build up. Um, and I think that really makes it unique because it really gives people the freedom to assure it to the point that then afterwards they're, they're very good hires for traditional departments. The expectations, the work expectations for a junior fellow are first and foremost to do their own research and advance that research. We uh, also expect them to teach one course per year, so a very low teaching load. They can teach more if they, if they would like to teach more. And hopefully they participate in the overall program, in the community of the Human Centered AI Institute. It's a very flexible position and has a lot of opportunities for uh, the, the individuals to, to make the most of it. I think our junior fellows as a group will have a huge amount of impact and that impact will be in from various different angles and the angle will be determined by the fields and the research subjects and topics that the junior fellows grab onto. And we expect that not only will they be able to move forward their own research, but they'll also be able to tap into other people within the high community to make sure that that research has the broadest possible impact. My expectation and hope is that young people who take a high junior fellow position at the end of five years will have a research portfolio that is adequate to earn them tenure at most universities in the country. Being at Stanford for five years is definitely a great period of time to um, jumpstart a career, to build a portfolio of projects of lines of research and also to recruit the collaborators and colleagues long term that one needs to build out these lines of research. So it, it has quite a bit of leverage in what one can do with the position um, and it's quite, it's quite a privilege and a joy.